What's up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. All right, so before we get into the video and I show you everything in this amazing room, uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Newegg uh, for pretty much sponsoring this video. Uh, at the end of the video, you're going to see a little spotlight on the PC that they actually built me. They built me a brand new supercomputer, uh, and I'm beyond blessed uh, to get that from them. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a little surprise with that bad boy right there, and you'll see what happens later in the video. But before we do all that and uh, we showcase that PC, let's do a little room tour, because why not? Everyone asked me for it. All right, so this is what it looks like when you walk into my room. Uh, I don't have like a gigantic setup uh, or like four different rooms of computers and stuff uh, You know because I live in an apartment with my two homies and my girl So we don't have that much space, but we make do what we got honestly I think we utilize the space really well. It used to be a mess like all down there We used to have a thousand things over there, uh, but yeah, I cleaned it up. Me and my girl really, really put some work in the same with my roommates And we really made this room beautiful and capitalized on the space. Let's start on this side and then we'll go on over, all right? Deal? Sound good? We'll explain everything I have because I have a thousand different things. All right, let's do it. All right, so what you're seeing right now is the main setup and pretty much the most important part of my day. I game here, I stream here, I eat here, I sleep here. I literally do everything here, right? I made the setup that I really wanted. I wanted to get something that I'm super comfortable in, playing every day, streaming every day. I really want comfortability to be the main thing that when I'm streaming and playing because I hate streaming in an uncomfortable setup. I've done it tons of times. I did not like it and it made my stream really, really poor quality. So let's get right into it about the monitors, man. Let's start off with those bad boys. I got the 34 inch ultra wide LG monitor up top with the Hi-Q animated wallpaper. Shout out to Wallpaper Engine on Steam if you guys don't know what it is. It's an amazing app on Steam for four dollars. You get all these crazy cool animated wallpapers that you can download, super customizable, really cool, even play music. I don't use this for gaming purposes ever. I usually use it if I'm watching a YouTube video while I'm eating uh, or I'm streaming and I have like one of the homies up like Shiv or Noko I could watch up top. We got the Acer monitors on the right and left. Really not that expensive, pretty good quality monitors just for like not the main piece uh, of the setup where you're gaming or really focusing on anything. This monitor I use pretty much just for random stuff, music tab, YouTube tab, uh, Twitter tab, just checking between streams, see if I got any DMs or anything important that I'm missing out on. And uh, on the left side, this is probably the most important monitor. Uh, it doesn't need to be good quality though, just for the purpose of it being a portrait mode, which is why I got uh, the monitors that could shift from vertical to horizontal. I use this monitor for the main two parts of my setup. Uh, I put Streamlabs up here, which controls my whole stream, and then down below from like 75% down, I'm pretty much only using that for chat. I'm a super interactive streamer. I love talking to my stream, and I think it's really important if you want to be interactive to have something where chat's easily accessible. And with the portrait monitor, man, I think it's super accessible and I love it so much. Seriously, it's uh, by far one of my favorite, favorite things I've gotten as a streamer, so I highly recommend. Uh, and as you can tell, I got the attack on Titan animated wallpaper for season four. I'm so excited for this anime. The middle monitor is nothing too special. This is the monitor I game on. All the tournaments, all the gameplay you see throughout my stream, my YouTube videos, everything, is played on this monitor. It's a $200 monitor, it's about three years old, I believe. It's 144 hertz refresh rate. It's nothing too crazy, but it's super important that you're comfortable on the monitor you're playing on. I personally really dislike playing on 240 hertz monitors for controller. Sometimes you get input delay, there's a bunch of different issues, so I stick to my older monitors. I love it, I'll try to link in the description. I think it's one of the best monitors for gaming, as well as Apex in general, especially if you're on controller. Next, let's go right into the Go XLR. Um, my Go XLR is really cool. So this is like a mix amp for all the sound. Uh, as you can see, I uh, might not be able to see it. Let me try to pull it out. Um Ooh, a little focus. Yeah, so you can see up here we got the system, microphone, voice chat, all that stuff on the Go XLR. This controls the different levels of volume in my stream uh, that my stream is hearing. So I can turn down my game volume, I can turn down people's voices, I can turn down my own microphone. I even have like, it even has like robotic voices, megaphone for like voice effects when I'm like commentating or something I want to do. I highly recommend the Go XLR for anyone who is into a dual PC streaming and needs to get a mix amp. The Go XLR is streaming nothing but good. Uh, I'm really rough with all my technology and has not broke on me yet so god bless uh, i absolutely love it on the right we have my elgato stream deck so if you guys don't know what a stream deck is it's really really useful i can switch scenes uh into let's see if the focus on the bad boy real quick so as you can see i can switch i can switch throughout my scenes on my stream labs with this stream deck right here and all these buttons are going to be able to customize stuff for my stream for me uh so on the top you can see nice wig right here right i press the nice wig button Wait, no, it popped up, you can't see. It goes on the right side monitor, 
and it brings me to my my Twitch channel just from that button instead of me typing out. The Elgato Stream Deck is super useful, super super good for streamers that have like spare money that really want to step their streaming quality up. Um, it's very expensive, but this is the XL, which is a lot of money. But you don't have to get the XL. They have the Mini and they have the Normal, and I highly recommend for streamers that are up and coming and really want to make a difference in their stream. So shout out to Elgato for this amazing amazing device, and shout out to, shout out to Go XLR. Honestly, this this Go XLR mix amp is phenomenal as well. Okay, now let's get into like the accessories on my stream. They're not really necessities or like, yeah, I don't have to make the highest quality stuff, but I do like to make sure that my setup is looking clean uh, and comfortable. Before I start anything else, everyone's gonna be like, yo, big, what the hell, man? Why you got two, two, two keyboards, two mics, dude? What's going on? So this keyboard right here is from my gaming PC. This is from my streaming PC. This mouse is from my gaming PC. This is from my streaming PC. Now, when you have a dual PC setup, you're gonna have to have some keyboards unless you have a switch over. I do not, so I can't transfer one keyboard of the other PC to the next. Um, so I have four four accessories right on my desk. Um, I It gets confusing at times, it gets a little stuffy, but I think it does look pretty clean when you look at the whole setup, having two keyboards and two mice. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, but it's also not even a question, I kind of have to have it right now, I don't have a switch. So yeah, before anyone asks me, that's why. The Logitech G Pro Wireless was given to me uh, from Newegg. Shout out to Newegg and Logitech, absolutely amazing. Uh, I am in love with this keyboard. Uh, I was a Razer person my whole life, but now, ever since trying this, I might have to switch to Logitech side. It's super comfortable, and it sounds like this, right? Oh, my God, it sounds so good. Uh, and super clean looking, and the RGB really looks really, really, really vibrant. We'll start with this bad boy later. Let's get her right out the way. Um, Logitech G Pro Wireless Mics, two of them, pink, black. Pink for my gaming PC, right there. That monitor controls this one right here. This right here for my stream PC controls the other three monitors. So that one mouse right there controls all three monitors. This mouse right here controls this one little monitor. Um, this is by far the most important computer. Uh, so I put the pink one on because I'm using it the most and I love the pink. Now I am sponsored by Scuff. Uh, I am using an Elite Controller right now for this one main reason that my Scuff's broke. Um, I'm absolutely in love with the Scuff, but I really think that sometimes uh, I'm really rough with my controllers, so I need to get, Scuff is sending me out a controller soon, but in the meantime, I'm using the Xbox Elite. I don't really know how I feel about the Elite yet. I think it's a good quality controller. Uh, I think it feels good, but overall gameplay wise, my gameplay is definitely not better with the Elite than it was with the Scuff for sure, which I get zoomed in. Um, I think the Scuff is by far making my gameplay better, which is why I'll continue to use it. Um, but I do recommend for someone you can find an Elite for cheap. Uh, it is not bad, but it is definitely just as expensive or just as money as the Scuff. And I think it don't really know how I feel about it yet, but I do like the Scuff sticks way better than the Xbox One, uh, Xbox Series 2 Elite controller sticks. So Sir Mike, 357, super good mic. The quality is actually insane. Sounds like I'm doing ASMR. <laughs> Highly recommend the Shure microphone for a lot of streamers. It's expensive, so if you don't have the money, it's totally understandable. No one's gonna be mad at you, you know what I'm saying? No one's gonna be mad. You're all good, bro. Uh, there's a lot of other good microphones, but when you have that money, you have that spare, and you really wanna upgrade your setup, the Shure microphone is a great, great upgrade. These bad boys. These are my Bose Quiet Comfort headphones. I'm absolutely in love with them. Um, I always use Bose Quiet Comfort uh, twos over ears. Um, I'm a real big fan of the Bose Quiet Comfort headphones. I think they do a really good job. They make footsteps really loud for me when I'm gaming. Um, I, they are expensive. They are $250, but it's the same amount as Astros. The thing with me, if you guys are a person, if you guys are a person, well, you're all humans, but if you're a person that genuinely does not like it when the earphones rub against your head, because with me, man, I I cannot take it. Like when the earphones are on my head and they're rubbing my top of my ears nonstop, it absolutely kills me. So what I did is I got rid of the headphones permanently for me right now. Uh, I guess probably permanently, maybe temporarily, I don't know yet, but I'm loving the loving the in-ears. It's the best decision I ever made gaming-wise, uh, and I'm super comfortable for long hours in the day. So I highly recommend the Bose Quiet Comforts. Expensive, but worth it. Okay, before we talk about that keyboard, let's talk about the Xenosu mouse pad. Uh, it's just an extra large mouse pad, or double XL, I'm not really sure. Uh, I love Demon Slayer, big anime guy, as you're gonna see in the video. And uh, yeah, so I decided to get this mouse pad, clean it up a little bit, 
Okay, so I'm guessing this is gonna be one of the main parts that people want me to talk about. I don't really have much to say other than just show you guys what it looks like, man. This thing is super clean. It's custom Akko keycaps with a KBD aluminum 60% case, I believe. The person who made me that, that made me this case and this keyboard. Uh, she didn't make the case, sorry, I made the keyboard. Uh, she is phenomenal. She is awesome. She finds all these different parts online to uh, go and make a custom keyboard for me. So these keycaps are super specific. We got the Sensu Beans, Nimbus, Dragon Ball Radar, and Cap. Core. We have the Dragon Balls as the numbers. We got the custom keepers on the left, the Dragon Ball symbol, Z symbol. We got Goku down below. The aesthetic is so clean on that with the brown. And then we go to the right, we got Shenron, and we got the Dragon Ball symbol again. This thing is gorgeous. Uh, I think it has brown switches, I believe. I'm not really sure. Let me guys see real quick. Ooh! Super clean, man. Types really well, too. So I'll keep y'all updated, bro, because I'm pretty sure I'm getting a Sasuke and an Naruto keyboard just like this and I'm super pumped to show you all about that man. We got Christmas Groot here. So cute. It's my girlfriend's. I stole it. GG's in the chat. She not getting that back ever. Oh my god. We got Soul man. Ah. I love this statue, bro. Like, this figure's so clean. Um, I can't believe I found it. I just keep him on my PC, man, because I love Soul. I love what he represented in the show. Um, I think he's a really, really cool character, and I don't really have anywhere else to put him, so I think it's super clean having him here. So, yeah, this is the main setup, man. Uh, my computers are kind of kind of good right now. This one I'm going to be giving away to my friend. I might make a video on this. It might be in this video. It might be in the end. I'm not really too sure yet. Uh, this is a... All, both these computers are exactly identical. This is the 2080 Ti i9-9900K with 32 gigabytes of RAM. And on the right, this is what my homie logically made me. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous PC. The RGB, everything is gorgeous. He did an amazing job. Um, this PC right here on the left is going to be the one that's being replaced by the Newegg PC that I'll be showcasing in a little while. So let's get uh, into more of the room. We have a lot of stuff to cover. And yeah, let's go from there. Let's quickly cover the posters. This is a Comic-Con poster from Deku. Uh, it's an exclusive Comic-Con poster that my girlfriend gave me, or let me borrow, <laughs> I would say. This is uh, My Hero Academia, another Comic-Con thing. This is One Punch Man Saitama, and this is another My Hero Academia. I'm not really a big Deku fan, bro, but I've been messing with these posters. They're pretty clean. Then we got the pins right here, man, and a note my girlfriend gave me, and stuff like that. The pins are really cool. A couple figures on the top right shelf. Then we got the Dragon Ball poster obviously over his bed got to sleep under my favorite anime or one of my favorite animes just because nostalgia purposes they got more my hero on the right here then we got we call this one right here baby wig and this is wig this is my girlfriend's this is mine love pichu so cute so adorable she got evie she even got the evie blanket you guys can't really see it let me see if i can get this evie blanket we got it from new york city uh during christmas time so it's a limited edition okay then we got my ac everyone when i stream they're like yo bro well, like because they can see in the background yo why do you got like tentacles in your background it's my ac this thing is a animal listen to this Dude, it gets so cold in my room, but it is so needed. You have no idea, guys. Guys, like it gets so hot in here and it gets so cold. It is much needed. Oh, also, I didn't miss this. Look at these bad boys. Pathfinder, uh, Matt, Twitch pillow, and Dragon Ball Z pill. Primitive. Love you, Primitive. Shout out. Sponsor me, please. Please sponsor me. Then this is where really I'm going to not go too into too much detail because there's so much stuff. Um, but this was all over the floor. So what you're seeing there, before I got this shelving from my girlfriend's house, um, this was all the floor. It was disgusting in the background. It was all dusty. I had to clean it. So let me just show you guys really quick, man. Uh, I got this, these little figures from my hero. This is sent by Respawn themselves. This is Bloodhound's totem located in World's, uh, in World's Edge. Um, this is Trials, the Trials totem on top. They sent me a nice little note too. They said, uh, this is during the Christmas, so they sent me this after Christmas, but this is for Christmas. This is for the Mirage note. I'll show you guys the Mirage in a little bit. Just want to say thank you for being a part of this amazing community from everyone at Apex Team. Happy holidays. Absolutely amazing. Shout out to Respawn for that. They're so amazing. We got Rick in it. We got Rick's portal gun. We got Hashirama, and we got um, Madara fighting. Okay, that's another figure. I figure it was a lot of money. So sorry for this camera. Let me take a sip, though. Shout out Game Fuel. Thanks for the sponsorship, man. Shout out Newegg. Okay, then we got the Goomba, and we got uh, we got Boo, and then we got the other Boo, <laughs> a Dragon Ball Boo man. Love these figures, man. Then we got the Demon Slayer Pearler. This is Tanjiro. 
Uh, there's a pearl order made by Filthy Turtle. We'll put his link in the description. Absolutely amazing. I'm probably I'm going to be getting more stuff from him. Then we got this painting right here. It's a canvas. Everyone always asks me if this is just a poster. It's not. It's an actual canvas. It's really good quality. It's painted on with spray paint as well. This is custom Broly. It has nice wig tattooed on his chest as you can see. Uh, this is probably my favorite piece of the room and something that I am going to keep for the rest of my life because Broly, uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly edition, like the Broly version is my favorite character I think in Dragon Ball history. Um, I love him. Love what he stands for. Love that he's pretty much the Hulk of Sands. And uh, yeah, I got that painted. And uh, shout out to Haro W, man. He's an incredible artist, super famous, well-known, Haro underscore W. Then we got this, shout out to Vaname Soul. These are one of my favorite pieces in the room as well. Got the Broly statue and the custom hand painted and markered Broly vans, dude. So we got Broly going sand right there on the left one. And then we got his home planet where he crashed on the right, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Vanime Soul did a phenomenal job. They are so clean. I'm never gonna wear them. I'm going to actually probably frame them soon and we'll go from there, but they are just gorgeous, man. Dude, come on now, I don't even just wanna say it. Come on, dude. Look at that bad boy, holy crap. Then we got Monado, dude. Uh, honestly, I love this big, I love this statue. I need a bigger one of him, but uh, I do love the statue. We got my wig. For a lot of you guys who don't know, man, I had to put this on there. Uh, I, nice wig, used to wear a wig every time we won. I'd put on the Super Saiyan wig. When I got hosted by Dizzy, I was wearing a wig. Whenever I won any game, I'd put on a wig. So I kind of just put that in the background so people could see it. I don't really wear it much anymore, but I definitely still want to get back into it and maybe utilize it in my stream more. But yeah, iconic wig right there. Uh, I was on the box of an Intel uh, processor, absolutely insane. Me, Miss Harvey, and Poe Belt. They're Poe Belt that I used to look up to and watch all the time. Absolutely insane to think about. Um, shout out to CLG for this amazing opportunity. I'll literally never forget this for the rest of my career and my life. Then we got this, sent by Respawn. Uh, signature by the man himself, a voice of Respawn. Uh, this is Mirage doing a little sexy, sexy pose. He's so sexy, so handsome. Uh, doing his little pose, man. I put it on the ground because I don't really want to put it up anywhere. Um, I think on the ground it's cool because my whole stream could see it. But yeah, that's where that note comes from. And they sent it to me this during Christmas time with a nice sweater too. Really nice. Thank you, Respawn, so much. I love you guys. Then we got the Game Fuel. This was a huge pyramid, but me and my roommate have a serious issue. We are in love with Game Fuel right now. And, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm drinking this day by day, as you could just tell before I was drinking it. I'm addicted, help me. Then we go up, we got the 100K balloons. I'm still keeping them here. It's actually insane, it's been there for so long. I think it's been like, I don't even know how many months, man. But yeah, I got the 100K for when I got 100K followers on Twitch that my girlfriend gave me. Then we got the grip tape, man. Primitive, making the best stuff out there. The primitive grip tape of the Leaf Village, dude, so sick. Then we got the Demon Slayer metal poster and Gyarados, no poster as well with the shiny Gyarados. And then we got the Itachi grip tape, bro. You know Itachi is the wave. Minato and Itachi are my favorite characters from Naruto, so Naruto, Naruto, sorry, I keep saying either one, but yeah. Um, then just to finish it off before we go into the little cubbies, we got more posters. We got Saitama, Janos, All Might, Flamalco's Brotherhood again, Hunter x Hunter, you already know the vibes. We got them all dressed up in suits with Leorio. We got Overlord, we got, we got Lord Ainz, uh, we got Hunter x Hunter, and we got Alucard uh, from Helsing Ultimate, which is one of my favorites, but I can't find any more stuff. If anyone knows where to get Helsing stuff, please let me know. Uh, this cubby's really cool. This is all over the floor, but we decided to organize each cubby by individual thing that I have. These are all my badges that I got from lands. I hope to get more, but you know, this Corona season has been super tough, so we haven't had any lands at all. Uh, this is during me for X Games, where we competed with their CLG. This is Twitch Rivals, where we actually play second. And this is my anime convention. Uh, I think it was Anime NYC my first convention I've ever been to and I have that still as well you can see with the nice big rivals partner so cool man um, and this is the X Games band uh, right here okay next thing we got the Hunter x Hunter Punk Funko Pops the bands we got all the we got all the eyes too really cool stuff man uh, this is from Hypewind but yeah these are the new Funko Pops that just came out then we got like the more of the anime Japanese style drinks uh, and food we got like the Pikachu wafers we got the burrito bis biscuits we got the Pokemon gum we got the uh, the case closed uh uh, not case closed. Uh, Conan, uh, Conan uh, drink. We got the Goku Super Saiyan water bottle, the One Piece uh, cookies, and then in the back with the we got the Saiyan armor too from Vegeta. And you can see it's a bunch of drinks, like those famous uh, Japanese drinks with like Gara. We got I think we got Tachi. We got Naruto in the back over there. You probably can't see, but yeah, it's really really cool. The next we got the Apex Legend section with the Funko Pops and the hard disks that I got. Uh, then we got the Pokemon box. I collect cards lately, and I've been going crazy. So yeah. Then this is going to be improved. But this is the Digimon section. Don't really have much going on right now. Um, I definitely want to improve on Digimon and actually watch more. I've been struggling really hard 
and watching anime lately just because it's been so time consumed. Um, everything's been so time consuming, but yeah. So I'm gonna amp this Digimon box up and I'll get this update back to you guys. Then we got the Naruto section with the manga. Uh, we got the Akatsuki Xbox controller custom made by, I think it was Insane Controller. I had to figure out the link. But yeah, absolute fire. We got the Sasuke Curse Mark. Uh, Pop, Fungal Pop, and then we got the Naruto book stand. I mean, he's not a book stand, but he is. And then we got the Drunken Rock Lee keychain, man. Absolute gas. Drunken Rock Lee, most powerful character in Naruto. Then we got more Dragon Ball, man. This is Primitive. Uh, Primitive Clock they made. This is the ba this is the little baby Future Trunks. <laughs> it's not actually, but it's just small. Uh, then we got Goku. Uh, then we come out Ha! And then we got like some cards right here. These are Dragon Ball GT cards. They're collector edition. And then we got like a little thing right here with uh, Super Saiyan uh, God Goku. And then we got... Vegeta and Trunks in the background. Um, and then a little manga in the back with some Dragon Balls. And then we got all my scuff controllers right now, man. These are not all broken, but some of them I just don't use anymore just because I need to get new ones. Uh, with like pals and stuff. But they're all amazing, dude. Shout out to scuff. They have the most gorgeous controllers, dude. Um, these are all the scuff ones. This is my first ever. Uh, I definitely want to talk about this one because I feel like everyone always asks me. This is the first ever controller I've ever used. I used this. I got signed to CLG using this controller. Um, no one ever believes me. Uh, that part right there, you see that? That used to cut my skin. I have, I'm pretty sure I still have scars in my hand, my thumb from using this controller. Um, but yeah, this is the first ever scuff I ever bought. I bought it way back in, I think, Call of Duty. I think Advanced Warfare I bought it back then, or Ghost, one of the two, and I haven't stopped using it since. And then I just finally officially broke this year, which kind of sucks, but it actually held on for a really long time. Shout out to Scuff, man, for their amazing work. Um, then we got the Demon Slayer background with some Fire Force, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood type stuff. We got Tanjiro and Asuke. We got the Demon Slayer band. We got the, oh my God, this is cool. I know a lot of you guys are gonna like this. This is the Gyo, uh, you like handbag, little like tote bag you get right there. What is that tote, what is that? I don't know what that called, bro. The swag thing with the pouch or something. I don't know, man, something like that. Yeah, we got the Fire Force in the back. Uh, we got Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia. We got Mob Psycho, all Death Note in the back. Then we go over here, we got more manga, nothing really categorized here, a little sloppy. We got, uh, oh, Broly fell, dude. And that's not realistic. He would have whipped both of them. We got Roshi, Goku. We got uh, the metallic gum sheets from them. And then we got the Dragon Ball controller, man. Uh, I bought this at TwitchCon. It's absolutely gorgeous, too. So sick. Custom hand-painted. Absolutely insane. With the Dragon Ball manga as well. And then in the bottom, this is Kristen's drawer. Uh, Cubby. She didn't really want anything, but she got Miles Morales right there. She's huge into the Spider-Verse fan. She got her Nintendo Switch with her Animal Crossing, all that stuff. This is more Dragon Ball Funko Pops. We got Shenron in the back. Piccolo, dead Yamcha, rest in peace, dude. Yamcha, you're a beast. You died like eight times. I don't know how you're still here. Super Saiyan Broly. Uh, then we got all the stuff that Newegg gave me, man, which we're going to be showcasing a little bit. They gave me a capture card. Uh, they gave me an i7. They gave me a Logitech G Pro and a Stream Deck, man. I might be doing a giveaway on these things. I'm not too sure yet. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And they gave me all the stuff. Shout out to Newegg. Absolutely incredible. Then we got the miscellaneous drawer. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Then we go up. We got everything Haikyuu. This is my new favorite anime. I would say one of my tops ever. Uh, it is absolutely phenomenal if you haven't watched it go check it out we got like the the cell phone charms going down right here of all different characters then we got all the plushies too we got suga we got okawa we got hanada we got uh suki we got we got a lot man it's really really cool really cool stuff and then my fake pin collection man we got tons of fake pins i'll do another thing on that um but yeah that's like the cubby thing everyone always asks me man i try to go fast possible so you guys can watch a thousand times i've heard a thousand minutes but yeah it's just pretty much everything man so that's what I'm rocking with in my setup, man. Hopefully one day uh, a little more will come and we can keep adding on. I can't wait till I get a house. Uh, my rooms are gonna be insane. Obviously, maybe not like a, you know, maybe not like a Nick Merckx type thing, but I definitely wanna get some stuff in. Now, let's go showcase the PC. Uh, I definitely wanna show you guys what Newegg gave me. They gave me an amazing, amazing sponsorship. They're absolutely phenomenal people over there. So let's go showcase that PC. I hope you guys like my room. If you have any questions, man, just leave them down below. I'll 100% show you guys some love and uh, try to answer everything I can, all right? Love you guys. All right, so guys, this is the computer that CLG and Newegg uh, came together to build me. Shout out to Roby Tech for making this beautiful PC and building it on stream. I'll kind of try to give you guys the link to the Twitch VOD. I'm guessing it's gone, but I'll give you the link to his YouTube where he builds the PC. You can watch the build actually happen, not live, but live when he's doing it. Um, it's amazing. He's so fun to listen to and talk to. He's super informative. So I'll drop that link down in the description as well. Um, as of right now, I just want to turn this bad boy on. Then we'll go over the PC parts list and what they gave me uh, as it turned on. So ready? Let's do this thing. Oh baby, three, two, one. Oh my God, dude. So they wanted to build me something that I'm gonna be using. 
And as you can tell, with this bad boy, I am definitely going to be using it uh, a lot. This is gonna be my main gaming PC. I'm gonna be pretty much just decking out all of the graphics in my games, running everything at the top rate that I can. Uh, it is a supercomputer. They gave me a legitimate supercomputer that I am beyond proud to uh, to have, and I'm so thankful for it. So shout out to Newegg, shout out to CLG. Thank you, Roby, for building me this phenomenal computer. It is literally gorgeous, one of the most beautiful PCs I've ever seen. So, uh, oh, change the little color, that white on there. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure exactly how to. I think I can inside the, when I, when I I whenever I connect the computer, that I can change the colors on the inside, which I'm super excited to do because I'm a huge RGB guy. Uh, I love just crazy colors all over. So yeah, let's get a full 360 view of this bad boy, baby. Oh my God, look at this thing. Actually insane. It looks so good. It literally looks gorgeous. So many, so, so many USB ports for me to use, man, because I'm a USB freak. Definitely need to start getting USB hubs and stuff. All right, so uh, you guys know I have a best friend roommate, Skins. Uh, he lives with me in my apartment. He's been literally with me through thick and thin. We grew up in New York together since I think kindergarten, so since we're like three years old and now what, we're 23. Uh, he moved out here to San Diego with me. He loves video games, plays League of Legends. He's been grinding Valorant nonstop now with my girlfriend who's holding the camera. Um, he's been grinding Valorant nonstop. His PC is horrible. He rocks two PCs. He has one that's been out of, out of date for like seven years now. And then he has another one that he literally just bought for $200. I'm pretty sure it was like a Dell business computer. Uh, so he's doing a dual PC stream setup. Uh, it's really like, it's really not good quality when I watch him play. So uh, today, I'm not gonna give him this one. I'm not gonna give him this, this computer. I'm gonna keep this bad boy from Newegg. But I am gonna give him my other supercomputer, which is an i9-9900K. Uh, computer, uh, it's really dusty right now, so don't judge it at all, please. Uh, really dusty, so we're gonna have to clean it. He'll probably just enjoy cleaning it and be excited because that's how he is. Uh, it's 2080 Ti, 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's just a little dusty. We're gonna dust it off for him and stuff like that and give it to him. But uh, yeah, let's go surprise him. I'm so excited to see what he says. Yo, scans, come in. What's up, dude? What's up, man? What's up, bro? How's so you know, I got this uh, mad mad boy right here. Beautiful puppy. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna give you that one. What? Yeah, I'm gonna give you that, dude. Dude. No, uh, I swear, dude. That's all give good. me that. Yup. Let's fucking go! Let's go, baby. Let's go, dude. All right, just kidding. He already knew. I posted an Instagram story. What's up, everyone? Uh, setup video coming out most likely tomorrow or tonight. Uh, going to be surprising my best friend with a PC. Uh, so he found out. Uh, through my Instagram story, so I'm just gonna give him the PC, dude. I'm so pissed. I literally was planning so hard to surprise him. We just tried our best acting attempt, which is horrible. I can't like, Terrible. we're not like a fake YouTuber thing. I can't do it. So I'm just gonna give him the PC. It's all yours, dude. Appreciate it, though, for real. Love you, dude. Love you. So give him a computer. Hey, I don't need it anymore, dude. I'm gonna take this bad boy right here. All right. And uh, shout out to Newegg, seriously. Uh, I really, I really appreciate Newegg. Wouldn't be able to give him this PC without you guys. Uh, his PC setup, I want to tell him how bad. Like, it's not bad, but like. I got it my sophomore year of high school, which is like seven years ago now. Yeah. Got an i7, shitty i7, uh, 970 GTX. Yeah. So, uh, very outdated. Very it's outdated. It's gonna be amazing. And then he bought another one off Facebook Marketplace, so this PC is much needed for him, especially since he's grinding Valorant and just, you know, playing different games. So, thank you, Newegg. Thank you to Roswell, Seagate, honestly, MSI, Cooler Master, uh, Intel, all you guys, thank you so much. I seriously appreciate you and uh, this opportunity. Seriously, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Awesome. All right, I love you guys. To everyone that came through for the setup video, I hope it was good. Uh, this is my first time video I've ever done like, with this stuff, so I've never been able to do this before. Um, I need to buy a camera. I'm using their cameras right now, so I'm going to buy a camera for vlogs maybe. Get a little more comfortable with myself and doing that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my room. Hope you enjoy the setup and uh, yeah, love you guys. Peace. We're all beautiful. Love Peace. You, Peace. Honestly, just want to give another huge shout out to CLG and Newegg for this gorgeous PC, the game capture card, the Stream Deck, and the Logitech G Pro. Look at this beautiful thing. I cannot wait to use it. I am so excited. Thank you guys again. Uh, it seriously means more than you know. Thank y'all. And thanks for coming to the video, guys. Much love.